everyone, I'm going to go shopping at HomeSense. Come with me and I'll show you what to look for. Okay, so I'm a designer and everyone always asks, how do you know what to buy when you go to places like HomeSense or Marshalls or whatever place that sells decor? Let's do shopping and I'm going to tell you what I look for. I want to show you this. These are um, indoor outdoor pillows. Things that I look for is try to get more than one. So try to get a pair of anything. This is interesting in that it's all solid. This one does have a zipper. So if I had to, I can always take the cover off and wash it. So with something like this, I'd have to buy more than one pair, which may or may not be a really good bargain. So you have to kind of look to make sure that it does what you need it to do because you have one seat pillow and one cost pillow. So you might might want to check that depending on where this is going. Okay, other things I look for. So right now the trend is definitely lots of wicker or items that are indoor outdoor. So I'll look for something that does not necessarily have a wood leg if it's going outside. I'll look for it if it has a plastic leg. So with something like this in our climate, it would last only one season. So if I accept that, then I would purchase this one. Otherwise I would make sure that it had more plastic or resin on it. These are a great purchase here because they're terracotta. Now you can also buy terracotta at your garden center, but because it's trendy right now, it can sometimes be more expensive. So I like something like this because I'm not going to spend too much on it because I know that there's a limit in terms of trend or popularity, but something like this can be used over and over again. Terracotta, lots of choices. This is great. I love this. This is the look that's really popular right now, which is this olive tree. And these are super expensive to buy online or any of the higher end retailers. So here is $29, which is great because I'm getting the pot and the little olive tree all in one. This is a really good buy. So I like to be thrifty. I'm not like a super buy everything that we see. I'm a little bit more towards the minimalist. So when I'm shopping, I'm trying to find things that I know have long-term value, meaning they're made out of something that we can't make here. Like, although the color is not what I'm looking for, this is actually made out of stone. What makes this interesting is in terms of green marble, this has lastability. This comes from, um, I can let's see where it comes comes from India, so it's imported here. So something like this, if you pay at the higher end shops, you're really gonna pay for it. Things that have metal on them, because those we know when we go to make them ourselves are expensive. The color combo is really popular, where we have a black and a, a white, or an almost white, off-white. Um, it's got a really nice interior, and of course I always look, I'm sure we all do, to make sure that it's not damaged in any way. So this in itself, it's like a nice wood interior. So I try to think about, you know, what can I purchase that I know I'll use well when the trend is over because I know it's still going to be in good condition. This is actually a great purchase. Um, this is made to look like jacks. If you've ever played ball and jacks before, you'll know what this is. But I like this because they are, they can sit on the table, obviously, but they're also really great as a doorstop. So at your mudroom, for instance, like my door slams always. So I can put this actually at the door. So take it off the counter, put it on the floor, and it can act as a doorstop that's not so heavy that I can't move it around. So things that have double or dual purpose are also things that I try to look for here. Oh, you know what, Sam, I want to point out, see how I'm shopping hands-free? This is the bag that I take with me. This is actually from Mountain Equipment Co-op when I go shopping at places like this so that I do not have to try to carry a purse. I know you're all into purses right now, but it does not work with our shopping. Okay, so we are in the picture section, and I'm pretty sure this section does very well at HomeSense because people really struggle with finding good art, and it really is problematic. So, okay things to look for when you're buying. It is helpful if you can buy more than one piece so that you have the option of pairing things together either side by side or on top of each other. So I always try to look for more than one. So as much as I love this piece, it's very little. You can see like to me that's great it sort of suits how I feel generally speaking but its length makes it challenging so I need to have a place where I could specifically put this. Okay, so nowadays they actually do sell these packages of pictures. 
something like this here. So it's hundred dollars. You get three pictures in it. Kind of, I guess I'm undecided as to whether that's a good deal or not. You break it down. It's $33 a picture kind of thing. And I'm like, oh, not bad. I guess that's pretty reasonable when it comes down to it. I do like pieces like this just because I want to show you how it's framed. Can you see how the edge, it's not pushed back. So this makes it a little bit more, looks a little bit more custom. So when you're looking for art, just how it's framed can really make it look different. This has the look and feel of a watercolor and then the ripped edge of the paper is a typical watercolor style. So I think that's great. Again, the challenge with this is there is only one. So you want to look and see if there are pairs of it somewhere else that's gotten mixed in. So one thing to keep in mind, you know, it's always good to support local, like if you have local artists in the neighborhood, but not everything can be art from locals can't find it when you need it, right? They have a lot of really good choices. They do. Just finding things that suit. Oh, okay, this is, here's a good example again where you get the two pieces and they're big pieces. So something like this is, this is 169. Again, you know, it's, it's not free, but you are getting a pretty decent deal because they're packaged together versus this where you have two individual ones and they are, both each $60. So maybe it works out in the end, I'm not sure. Oh my God, my mother would love that. Okay, she would, like it's it's like a little care interior. She has a little Westie. Uh, so in our lighting department here, this is actually really good. A couple things to think about is when you're gonna buy lights, try to buy a pair of lights. So look for two of things. And I have to say Home Sense is pretty good about having two. Things that I wouldn't buy. I would probably not buy with a tinted shade because it means it, tinted, it tints the color of the light. So I try to look for a white shade and then I never have issues with it matching um, key things. So again, as much as I may love the look of them, the color of the shade may be a deterrent for me. So these are good lights. The reason I'm attracted to them is they're a solid glass base. So they're like super heavy, which in my mind gives us really good value because they're low lights, which means that um, they're going to sit low on a table, which is kind of a nice look, not necessarily for bedroom, but they might be on like a sofa back or table or a low console. Uh, sorry, not a low console. The console would be regular height, but they'll sit low on it, um, which makes them pretty good. Um, plus they have the white shade plus the glass base. So that console could be in the window for, for instance, and these sit on it look really nice. And, and because they're heavy, I know someone isn't gonna go by and easily knock them over. Uh, these are good things to purchase. Like I love this one here. This is like, these two are super in style. However, look what happens. So this kind of style, if you have a cat, this is gonna be a nightmare. You'll never be able to keep it. And for that matter, same with this. If I bought this for my previous cat, who's in cat heaven now, I can tell you right now, he'd be like, oh my God, thank you for buying me a giant oversized scratching post. I am so thankful. So think long and hard if you have pets at home with anything in the current sort of straw raffia style. Bad for claws. So Home Sense has gotten pretty smart with their pillow collections in that they tie them together now and you don't find them loosey goosey everywhere. These are largely outdoor, or at least they'll be marked outdoor, which means the fabric is designed to deal with water a little bit better. They are not waterproof though, remember that. Um, so they may give you a season or two if you leave them outside, if you don't bring them in. If you bring them in, they'll do a lot better. Okay, these are these are nice pillows here. These ones, like I love this stitching. This is very popular in fashion right now. It's really good looking. But things that I would look for in something like this, nice detail, nice detail on the front is, oh, there they are, they're $34, so not bad, 35 pretty decent. Now this has a hidden zipper right there. So it means I can get the insert out. So bonus points for that. And it's not on the bottom, which is also nice. The other thing I will check for is whether you like the karate chop or not, it just tells you what the insert is. So I would check the, the uh, flexibility of the pillows just because that allows them to be a little bit more usable, believe it or not. So I would also spend a little bit of time in seeing if I can find a version similar to what I like made in Canada. Again, this would not be a good cat or dog proof product because that edge will pull and of course the fabric will as well. Okay, that's a good example of this one. 
I can already see the fluffs coming off it. I don't know if you can see that. So in my house, this would not be a great option because not only will Baxter's fur be stuck to it, it will delint on everything else around it. So I would be careful looking for some of that. Although I love the look of it, for me, it wouldn't work. So that's something that I would not shop for personally. Um, this is actually a pretty good piece here. So this is a big trend right now is everything to have this sort of um, rounded corner. Everything is rounded, but it may be one of those trends that comes and goes. I don't know. Might be a fad, might be a trend. Either way, this is a pretty good price. You know, for under $300, you can purchase it and add the trend to your house. If you have moved into a condo, for instance, and you have like a little breakfast bar, it's actually very useful that you can purchase your chairs or stools here. Again, you want to look for something that is uh, a microfiber or a vinyl in a darker color if you want it to last. This color is pretty good. I wouldn't go a whole lot lighter than this because denim or jeans will wipe off on it. So you want to think about that. As much as light looks beautiful, it's sometimes not that wearable. Um, I always check out all the colors uh, or the edges of the colors to make sure that they're in good condition. These are pretty good. The gold is nice because it's not too brassy, so it's almost like a brown, which means it could tie in quite nicely to multiple colors. And, you know, metal is something that generally is quite costly. So if you can find it in a place like this and the color happens to rewrite for you, you'll actually save yourself quite a bit of money. Um, don't just buy it. You want to make sure you take it down and you sit on it. Let's see if it works. Sit on it here. Okay, it seems pretty comfortable. I like it. So it's pretty good. So that's what you would want to do if this is something you're in the market for. A swivel is always nice at an island if there's not a lot of arms in the way. So you can turn easily and talk, especially in a smaller configuration. It's nice if the TV is behind you. I can turn back and look at it. So definitely worth the purchase. So this is a good purchase. Um, just the light color, you'd really want to think about that if you're in dark denim because this will show wear very quickly. Oh, these are good straightforward these are nice well finished see on the chair this is actually a very nice set for really really nice okay oh whoa we're okay we almost had an accident so baskets are so expensive to buy some places so i if i want a big like laundry basket or a blanket basket i would buy something like this so each basket is individually priced but there are three that could be purchased together um, at a higher price, obviously, because each one is individually priced. But what I love is that this is really big and for this size basket is $35, like try shopping that online. So you're walking through this section in Home Sensei or Winners or Marshalls or wherever you are, and you think to yourself, hmm, how do I know what I want to purchase here? For me, if I were to just automatically tell you what placements I would purchase, I would purchase something like this. Trend-wise, they have the black, they're a raffia style. It's how the edges are done, so they're nicely tailored. The way the surface is done, it's nice and smooth. And the fact that I get six and the color looks really good and they're really, they look expensive. And for the whole pack that's here, there are six, it's $16. So this is a really good buy. So if I look at this one, see how it doesn't sit flat? It's got this pokey part on top. So when it was sewn, it was just sewn too tight. So I would not purchase something like this because I'll forever be pulling at it to get it to sit uh, properly. And it's actually more money. Oh. Okay, I was just going to say these are very Kate Spade, um, and they are Kate Spade. So this is something I might buy for a client, wouldn't be for me, um, but I like the whimsy of Kate Spade for home decor too. So I get four in this and they're $12, so yeah, it's kind of fun. And again, it, people know her brand, um, therefore it has perceived value, so it might be something to think about. Okay, I would buy this for me and for Leanne because she's a pet mom, just like me. It's funny. Okay, I bought these dishes before um, because, first of all, they're made in Portugal. So uh, 
Portugal is known for their pottery. So I love that this is available here. And so I just look where things are made. So I just look on the back, who made it, made in Portugal. So because they're known for pottery, it's something that I would definitely consider purchasing. The other thing is they have interesting detail on them. So this has really become a popular style. We saw this, I don't know, 15 years ago maybe, and it's returned. So I know that this is a look that um, people like to recreate because it's got a really nice feel. We're seeing this blue pattern return. This is from. I wouldn't buy that because the blue is not right. Blue is too dark. It's almost black. We'll find other. We can do better. Hmm. So I love this. Love this color. This is like that cobalt blue. Super in style. Love this color. And again, this is made in Portugal. So I would definitely purchase this and the set that went with it because it's just a really nice addition to both um, my indoor or outdoor plate set. Love that. Huh. So I'm not sure about uh, that this really is. This is Royal Staff of Stafford, England. Huh, interesting. Now, the other thing you want to look for is, uh, depending on how you're going to use it, is it dishwasher safe? So this is, um, lots of pieces will say, but if you're not sure, ask. Look at that. Oh, I'm, just, I'm having a moment. It's just so fun. I love dishware. Um, so this is so popular right now where you have a polished top. So where it's glazed and it's shiny. And then the back or the base piece is made out of an unfinished looking clay. This one's made in China, but I love the style. Terracotta and then the white. Oh, those are nice. Oh, look, these are so pretty. Oh, these are made in Italy. Fun. You know, this has this was really popular. Like my mom had it, then it went away, then it came back, and then I had it. Went away, now it's back. So, you know, good dishware never really goes out of style. It's just a pain, pain to store during the times that you're not using it. That finish, look at that finish on there. So this blue kind of fades in and out with pink, and then the little detail on top. These are like super cute. Also from Portugal. Oh Portugal, you've really rocked it. Oh, and look at this, this is from Turkey. This is very nice very nice like the details on the inside of the bowl not on the outside so your white stays white oh 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 what do we have here oh I like these I would take these home for me I may say I'm carrying my shopping bag <laughs> just in case these are these are made in Japan so you see they have some of the typical looks of Japanese dishware where it's a smaller bowl this blue and white is actually out of uh like asia basically um historic and of course this brown i, I know there's a name for it but I can't think of it all the top of my head anyway i love these sam we may have to back just let me know okay if you want to have a little bit of fun one can always purchase a dish that looks like a grapefruit. So I love this. So at the cottage, right? Or you rent a cottage, let's say, and you just want to have a breakfast event. Maybe you just purchase these. They're $7 each. And these are the kind of things you just bring with you for a little bit of fun. Love that. Oh, I really could use one of these. See, okay, this is useful. Why did I not go into this stuff? Okay, this is where you put your um, garlic or your onion and you just put them in there and he's got his own little holes. So he can stay in the fridge if you want or you can keep them out on the counter because he won't contaminate everything. Um, if you, you can keep them on the counter if you're gonna use them right away. Uh, and I have to say all of this and what I'm talking about here is really a shout out to Mary Dobson. Those of you who know me know Mary Dobson and she knows all of this. Honestly, she's amazing and everything I know I learned from her. Lemons, just cute. Like, come on, just so cute. You can see I've lost focus. I'm like, oh my God, I love this. Okay, so these are called, any kind of bowl like this, made out of wood, is actually called a vessel. You could just call it a wood bowl, but they're, they're actually technically turned that way. Um, these are great pieces. These are made in, again, different parts of the world. And this is Italy. So I love things like this for decor. This can sit on your bedroom dresser and you put your rings in it, or you can oil it. So if you use olive oil on it, you can use it in the kitchen. Obviously this is not going in the dishwasher, but I actually love all these wood pieces. and. You know, there's just such a great overall use for this throughout your house. Um, like, how adorable is that? It's just great. If you're going to use a wood product, I will not buy a wood product that has a varnish on it. 
um, and that's simply because I don't know what that quoted top is on it so I may not buy as beautiful as it is I may not buy it and put food on it so if I'm gonna buy a cutting board or something like that I like to know where it comes from and I will oil it myself but I will not take any varnish material on it so see how it's got some kind of clear coat on it I wouldn't put food on this like without a napkin or something only because I don't know what's on the surface so no one really knows at least I don't I'm sure there's other brighter people than me I'm just pointing out what is like a trigger in my head where I'd say okay so this does say it's food safe so if you're going to use it to serve food that's what you're looking for and um, because you can see there's a bit of a clear coat on it so if you have a cutting board at home and you want it to look renewed then you would rub olive oil into it you're not going to rub varnish like do not use anything like that you want to make sure you use a natural food safe product and in this case olive oil is food but you can also do sunflower seed oil whatever you have just to renew it this one but it does say you want to look for those words food safe oh it's a taco holder <laughs> so again words to look for because it's plastic and what you're looking for okay this says it's bamboo fiber sure great whatever you want to look for bpa free or safe meaning it's not in it dishwasher safe all very important because the heat will reactivate the plastic in some cases um, or the jury's out again i'm not an expert just things that i know to look for because i've been educated by other people Oh my gosh, we should get this for Kathy, it's one of our clients, she loves to serve ice cream. Oh my god, this is the fun of this kind of shopping, where it's here one day, gone tomorrow. So if you really like it, you gotta get it now. So Sam, you're gonna go shop.